everyone, Shaber1000 here with another episode of Walk Wednesday. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be easy. I guess you can call it a recipe. Uh, kind of like a mulligan stew. You just uh, throw in what you got. This is really simple. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's make our chicken and noodles in the wok. Okay guys, so I've got some chicken wings here and I just coat them a little bit with some cornstarch and I boiled them first because I boiled my noodles in the um, in the water that I boiled the uh, chicken wings in so that way give it a little more, bit more flavor so I boiled those for three minutes the chicken wings I just boiled just till they were starting to peel from the bone. If you want, go ahead and boil them, let them fall off the bone, take the bones out. Just use the meat if you want. Um, so, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start on our chicken wings. I got some soy sauce here. I've got some lemon pepper. I've got some Lowry season salt. And I've got some crushed red pepper just to give it a little kick. I also have my trusty handy dandy little bouillon cube here. Now if you don't like a strong flavor of chicken, you don't need this because there is chicken flavor in that broth that we made. But we like a good amount of chicken flavor. So we love flavors, man. So I'm going to get you pointed down here. We're going to get the skillet heated up. I'm going to do the chicken first. We'll take the chicken out. Then I'll stir fry the uh, the noodles. We'll add it all in together. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it's not really a recipe. It's just some chicken, some noodles, which they are, um, I think they're lo mein noodles. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. And then, um, and, and that's pretty much it. I mean, just make sure it's cooked. It's, it is chicken. Make sure it's it's cooked done. Um, other than that, it's real simple. So let's get started on it. And uh, let me get you pointed down here at the pan. We'll get it heated up and it's go time. Okay, so we got, I just got a couple tablespoons of, um, what is it? Olive oil in there. I've got it on medium high. If you want to check, if it's not bubbling, you want to check, just take a little bit of drops of something and put in there and you'll you'll see it bubbling up so we are going to take our chicken we're just going to dump it in just going to dump it in like that um, now like I said just a medium high heat this is on about a seven and a half probably should have got it a little bit hotter than that also Periodically, I'm just going to take a little ladle of this and put it in there just so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to brown these up until they're golden brown. Okay. Um, just going to take a little piece of this and put it in there. The rest of it's going to go in with the noodles. Um, I'm going to put some of these flakes in here. And I just got word, Monkey's mom was supposed to come home from the hospital again tonight. But I guess they're going to keep her one more night. So, I happen to have another ingredient I want to show you guys. Here in just a second, got to get it out. A little bit of uh, feather still on that one. A couple tablespoons of that, it doesn't take a lot. Keep it moving. Nice. There we go. All right, I'm gonna shut you off for a second. And I'm gonna show you the other ingredient. Okay, here we go. This is one of the three of the hot sauces that Marley and Brian sent to us. Thank you guys. This is two times spicy. Boldak hot sauce. Artificial spicy flavor. 
Okay, so refrigerate after opening. I just now opened this. I just got and got the seal out of it. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And I'm not going to use a lot of it, but we're going to give it a little bit here. And we're going to put some more in the noodles too, so we don't want to put a lot in it. Ugh. I just made a mess. Alright. Now, like I said, these are not done yet. I'm just going to keep, keep stirring it up. Get that stuff up off the bottom as it's trying to stick. Because that's where the flavor is. There we go. I did crank it up to about eight and a half. I cranked it up to eight and I just now just put it on eight and a half about and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep cooking these and keep stirring them so you don't have to get bored then I'll bring you back we'll take these out and then we'll start on the noodles so hang tight guys okay guys so now we're going to take this chicken out of here now let me tell you something. This stuff here, it's no joke. You saw I put, what, maybe a tablespoon or two in there. See how they're nicely coming off the bone there? That's fine. Um, I'll pick the bones out before I put the chicken in with the noodles. But I'm not going to be putting it in the noodles. Like I said, you guys saw tablespoon maybe two tablespoons and I tasted a piece of this chicken guys that stuff no joke you ain't gonna mess around with that stuff man I tell you though it's good it's good but it is no joke I'm gonna put some of this in here Get ready for the noodles. I'm just going to break this up. Just like that. Now let me wash my hands. I'll be back with you with the noodles. Okay, here we go. Now let's put the no our noodles in. And these noodles are going to suck up all that flavor that's in there. And all I'm going to do is just stir fry this. It doesn't take long until everything gets all nice and incorporated. I am going to add some more of this stuff. A couple more tablespoons of that. It's about two tablespoons. Just a little bit of this stuff. You know, some more of my seasoning. Monkey's going to really like this, so... Yeah. Ah, bam. Here we go. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to stir this up. Keep it going. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give it a little bit more broth here to keep it from sticking. There. I shut it off. Alright, guys. Then... Once this cooks down a little bit, I'm going to put the uh, I'm just going to put the chicken right on top of here, right in this pan. So stick around; I'll be back with you when this is all finished. Okay, so here we go. Um, I just got a little bit of chicken, a little bit of noodles. Um, I'm going to wait till Monkey gets home to eat. I don't like to eat without her. I don't think it's fair, <laughs> frankly, but. Um, yeah, so I'll wait until she gets home, but since she's not here to try it, I'm going to try it, guys. So let's get you up here. I'm already sweating, you know, cooking and all that. I've already tried a piece of chicken, but I want to try a piece of chicken first. Come on. Mmm. 
That's amazing, guys. It's not that I'm doing anything special. If you do it just like this, it'll be fine. I think the uh, cornstarch has a lot to do with that chicken. You don't want to use a lot because then it will dry the chicken out. But you also, you know, like I said, keep keep it hydrated. Okay. Now I'm going to dry the noodles. Mm. Oh my God. This is very good. I'm going to try a little bit of boo. I cheated. I told you I wasn't going to put any, uh, any of that hot sauce in the noodles. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a nice bite of both of them here. Mm. Superb. Or a little piece of gristle there. Alright guys. I can't wait for Monkey to get home now. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, I'm going to keep this warmed up for her. I'm going to put a lid on it. It's off the off the hot burner. So, the, uh, so it should stay warm uh, in the pan. Okay. Because that, that's cast iron. That will stay hot for a while. So I just put the lid on it. Take it off hot burner, burner so it doesn't dry out and warm up. And I think it'll be fine. So, like I said, quick and easy, guys. I mean, um, like I said, you don't have to boil the chicken first, but I usually do. That way I've got some stock. You don't have to add the extra uh, bouillon cube. I did. And to me, I, I just love that flavor. It really gives it a, makes it pop, you know. Um... Like I said, the chicken, you can boil it down until it starts falling off the bone just, and just add the chicken to that. Um, I don't know whether I should do that or not for her. I might. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, no, I'll probably just leave it the way it is so she can taste it better. And um, I'll let you guys know on a later date if she liked it or not. I'm sure she will, though. <coughs> that hot sauce is no joke. Now, this is not too hot to eat. Um, it's just about right. So two tablespoons in that is plenty. <laughs> uh, if I would have went one or two more dashes, I think then it'd be a little bit too, too hot to enjoy. But this is just perfect for uh, monkey and I. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. I know I got, I got to get some, uh, some drywall sheets to start patching some holes like where we took the light down in the kitchen to put the pocket lights in. Uh, I got this big hole over here where the furnace used to be. Um, I need to get that patched up. So remember ladies, if you ask your man to do something, he will do it. There's no reason why you should keep reminding him every six or seven months, okay? He'll get it done. Bye bye guys. Take care. Love y'all. Be safe.